welcome to the shopping vlog. We are about to go to the store, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. I don't know which one I'm gonna go to. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I do when I'm trying to save money, which is now. Okay, why don't you just come along? An outfit of the day, really quick. I got this shirt. I actually got this shirt from YouTube Black. So YouTube got me this shirt. It says very black. Shoes. Shopping. Right, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You're the one I'm thinking of. Come on and take my love. Let's go and we can fly away. We take okay, so the first way to save money with buying organic is to buy um, produce that are not produce. Buy dry goods that are already on. Oh, Thank you. That are already. That you have to package yourself so you see right here this is 169 for steel cut oh per lab so that's pretty good for organic have my groceries right here this is a week's worth of food plus some of the things that I'm gonna make with it at home but we did pretty good here we only spent $20 on all of this and they are all organic everything in here is organic the store doesn't carry stuff that is not organic so I have some some um, different things that I'm gonna show you guys and yeah Okay, so I'm back from the store. I just went to my local health food store. I didn't get to go to Whole Foods because they didn't have the items the way that I wanted them to. <laughs> so I went to the other store that I normally go to, which is Rainbow Blossom here in my local town. And they are also in other towns too. They're not so small that they're not other places. But this is what I got and this looks so small. I know this does not look like a lot of stuff, but you can use this to mix with a whole lot of things. So you guys will see what I mean in just a moment. So let's go ahead and start with what I got. So first thing I got was this cinnamon crunch but this is Naraya's favorite cereal she normally likes to eat this in the morning she doesn't eat it every morning but she does like to have it occasionally so this is definitely a good alternative if you're switching from regular foods to organic foods this tastes just like um, so what is it cinnamon toast crunch or something it tastes just like that also got some almond milk and I got the unsweetened vanilla because Naraya really likes the vanilla flavor but I personally like the unsweetened one the best because it does help to have unsweetened almond milk for if you're needing it for a soup or a pasta to make anything especially if you're vegan it's very handy to have the unsweetened also got some oranges now I was so surprised about the price that I paid for these because I have one two three four five I have five oranges here and I only paid I think three or four dollars and my oranges are normally $5.99 when I get it already packaged so that was a steal I also got some broccoli <laughs> um I love broccoli to just have on hand just because I like to put them in my soups and I also like to put them in my pasta and it also is a really good meat replacer in my opinion I also got some zucchini because I love zucchini. First I got some garlic because garlic is really good for, again, soups and just a base for, especially if you're vegan, for flavor. And I also got 
a huge bag of potatoes that I only paid about $2 for. It was on sale. I normally get red potatoes, but these were on sale, so I went ahead and got these, and these will last me uh, for more than a week, so. And I also got these lentil beans, and I got them in where you can get from the bulk section because it was a lot cheaper to do it that way rather than to buy the one that was already packaged. I also got some bedtime tea, which I have never tried this type of tea. I just wanted to try it out just because it looked really good. It's soothing caramel, if you guys can see. So I just really like that and I'm trying to see how it's gonna taste. So I don't really know anything about this type of tea or anything like that. I usually get my own tea. I only make herbal teas, but I just wanted to try this out. So we'll see how that goes. So I got these and this is not a part of my haul. It's not what I bought today. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's really good to have like fettuccine and angel hair pasta on, on hand. So when you have like, when you go out and get your vegetables and stuff, you can use that to put on top of like pastas or to make pastas or to do something like that. Um, it's also very good to have rice on hand because rice is such a, which you can get a bigger bag than this. I just got this at least, I think two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And it was just because I wanted to get sushi rice. I was actually making sushi. But if you wanna get a huge bag of rice, that's better. And I definitely recommend that over this. So yeah, guys, it was so easy to do this. I really do recommend shopping from the bulk section of your store, rather you go to Whole Foods, rather you go to Kroger, you wanna shop from the bulk section just because it is so much easier and it costs so much less. What you're paying for when you get things like that are already packaged or you get things that already look pretty or already been washed three times, which you really don't know if they washed it that many times, but anyways, if you get things like that, you're really paying for the convenience of not having to do it for yourself. So if you wanna take some time out and kinda of just like, get over the fact that you have to do all this by yourself, you will be saving yourself a lot of money. And if you want to, you can do like a whole entire day of just prepping your fruits and vegetables, like just cleaning everything and cutting up everything and then putting it into um, glass mason jars and containers and stuff in your refrigerator and pantry. And you can do it yourself, but it's very, 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 very much cheaper <laughs> to, just do all of your do all of it yourself rather than get them to do it at the store because then they're gonna bump up the price like two to three dollars, which is insane. And I just started to do this and I'm gonna start doing it all the time. It really is a good experiment and I really did save a lot of money. I wanted to show you guys that organic foods do not have to be expensive, especially if you do it the right way. And I wanted to show you guys that it's very easy to find different ways to just adjust your life and also not have to be at fault for doing it. So I found that this was the best way. I did save a lot of money and I only spent $20 at the um, Rainbow Blossom. And then I went to Kroger to get my milk and my cereal and I only spent $6. So together, total, I went, I spent only $26. So I went over about a dollar of 25. Just doing a lot more things myself rather than just having the company do it, it's a lot more, less expensive. So if you guys wanna see how I do these type of meal preps and detail, then like this video, give it a big thumbs up so I can know that you guys like this video and I'll see how this video does. And if you guys like it, I'll do more grocery haul videos and I'll do more in depth of how to like clean your vegetables and how to prep and all that stuff. So you guys just let me know what you want to see and i will show you guys i'll insert some clips of what i did with some of this stuff that i purchased throughout the week So if you guys are wondering, I also do homeschool my daughter. 
So when it comes to snacks, we have snacks. I didn't have to get snacks. We have snacks like crazy, um, but they're all pretty healthy snacks. They're all um, from the health food store or from Whole Foods. I'll actually show you guys an example of one of the snacks that she loves so much. Let me go ahead and get it. Oh, so she absolutely loves these and you can only, I've only seen these at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna say that you can only find them at Whole Foods, but I may be wrong, um, but they're basically vegan blueberry muffins and they don't have any of that crazy crap in it no soil no eggs no nuts no milk no nothing so and they taste very very good so i really like this brand and i only recommend the blueberry ones because i did try to try a different brand um uh, like a cinnamon one before and it wasn't as good. So I do only recommend the blueberry ones. I'm going to do a video to where I'm going to really go all out and show you guys when I do like a huge grocery haul, if you guys like this type of video. And I'll show you how to do that on a budget as well. Other than that, I don't think there's anything left for me to say besides the fact that this is a really fun video to do. And it was really fun to go out and try to find stuff that was under, um, well, almost under $25. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.